Welcome to the Accounts Payable Audit and Fraud Investigation section of this um, idea, exercise, and project. So as you know, we will be auditing the Accounts Payable account. Uh, we will look for existence and validity issues. We'll make sure that our financial statements are in fact complete and that they follow the proper cutoff uh, for the reporting that is required. We will also look at some existence and, and some cross references to make sure that they are, there is no fraud. And this is a very susceptible account. Normally companies may be exposed to uh, risk factors that are associated with an accounts receivable account you may have a valuation problem most of the time, but when in, in terms of accounts payable, it is possible that a company may try to bring down the value of those um, payable accounts or, or their obligation and the liabilities by not putting them all in there, by undervaluing them. Um, and we'll see other cross-references that are, uh, that are typically found when somebody is trying to defraud a company by by deviating funds from uh, from a payer to somebody else. So we'll do the mechanical and accuracy and valuation test, the analysis by using stratification of payments. We'll analyze uh, exceptions and we will also cross reference uh, the existence of those um, providers and vendors. So let's get started with our activity 3.A. Uh, so the exercise 3.A is intended to just set up your idea file. So let's go ahead and, and, and make sure that we have both the accounts payable 2015 text and supplier XLS worksheet in the same folder. But first, we will create an idea project and we're gonna call this the accounts payable let me make sure that this is correct. Accounts payable audit. Um, so we will call it by your last name, et cetera. So here we have the accounts receivable project open. Let me create another one that's called Barra Fernando underscore accounts payable audit, right? And I could certainly take a look at the properties of the project and I could just say, this is, um, let me just unlock it first and say Parra Fernando um, accounts payable audit. Let me find out it's going to, okay, the period is from January to December 2015. That's amazing. All right. I guess it says investigation. And this is for the period of January 1st to December 31st, 2015. The project prior is starting a file called client INF from the project folder. So that is already saved. Let me press OK. And that is our new project. Notice that the other files that were there have disappeared. That means that they have, they're no longer active in our screen. The next thing I need to make sure I do is I need to bring these files over to the folder. And so I will bring up my documents where I downloaded all my extracts. And you did this before, so all we're gonna do is select this one and the supplier. Let me make sure I'm doing the right thing. So this is this is the accounts payable 2015 text and the supplier files. So I'm gonna copy these and I'm gonna bring them into my idea documents where I'll look at my idea projects and look at the accounts payable audit. Specifically, I'll look, go into my source files and paste these documents. So when I so when I um, wrap this up, they'll be within the same domain and I keep everything organized. All right, so now that I moved everything in there, that's basically it. I am done with loading my data in the right file and I have done what I needed to do for 3A.